what's up guys and welcome back to my channel as you can see your girl looks like crap and that's because mentally i feel like crap it's been seven days that i have been stuck in this house here in kentucky we've had so much snow and ice i'm so over it when we have weather like this it literally cripples me like i don't do anything physically mentally nothing I've been in my pajamas every single day this week. I've been wrapped up in my robe. We have been ordering pizza almost every single night for dinner. And that is because of the weather. We're just going to blame everything on the weather. I haven't posted anything on YouTube because of the weather. And I've been slacking because of the weather. It's just so hard to find motivation whenever it's this crappy outside. When it's like this outside, I feel like a crappy person. Like... I just don't have any spark or motivation in me to do the stuff that I usually do only because I feel stuck. My husband has been home for the last past like five days and I love him to death, but he just got to go back to work. Like, I feel like I can't get anything done with him home. I mean, it's hard enough to get stuff done with my daughter home. Because my whole day is wrapped up in her schooling and I'm trying to get things done in between all of her meetings. She's only in first grade. So she, there's a lot of things that she can't do on her own on her laptop that they're having her do her assignments on. So that takes up most of my day. And with my husband being home, I feel like I'm just constantly picking up behind him. <laughs> He's like a child. But um, he's actually out on a side job today. So the roads are clear enough today for him to like venture out since he's been off of work for the past like four or five days. But he's out of the house. I woke up today and there's sunshine coming through. I flipped the weather channel on and it says that the snow's over. We're actually going to have a couple days of rain, which is going to melt all the ice, all the snow. And then this upcoming week, we're going to have temperatures up in the 50s. So that little bit of information has given me the motivation and fuel to get me up and to actually do something with myself today. I mean, I don't really have that much makeup on and I've only got a t-shirt and leggings on. But at least I'm out of my pajamas. I put my robe in the washer and I don't plan on putting it back on until tonight so I'm not sure exactly how much I'm gonna get done today so that is the plan for today so I'm gonna quit talking and we're going to put some action behind my words so let's get started okay guys as you all can see I did make it back to my bedroom I'm about to make my bed up I didn't get out of my bed until about 12 o'clock this afternoon and by the time I got dressed and put a little bit of makeup on and brushed my hair and got my daughter dressed and made breakfast, it's already like 1.30, 2 o'clock in the afternoon. Like I mentioned earlier in my intro, I've been like laying in the bed all week long since we've had all this snow. So it feels good to actually be up at a decent time and get my bed made up for the day. Now that it's made, I know that I'm not going to end up back in it for the rest of the day only because I don't want to mess it up. So I wouldn't say that my house is super messy, so I don't really have a lot of cleaning to do. Today's video is just going to be a kind of hang out with me video, show you guys what I'm doing throughout my day. And of course, every time I make up my bed, my cat Shug always hops up in it because she wants some attention and this is her she's grown so much since we rescued her from the shelter and she's very playful so now that the beds made up look at my vanity table guys it is a complete wreck I've just got so many body sprays and lotions and I don't really have enough counter space for it all these are the problems living in a mobile home. There's not enough space for anything. And even though I know I'm limited on space, I still continue to buy. So I'm not really sure what's going on. I have a serious shopping problem. 
So we're just gonna try to straighten this up and make it look as good as we can. Okay guys, so this is what it looks like now that I've kind of organized everything. I've got all of my body sprays and lotions over here on this rack and in front of this rack. I've got my masks hanging up right here. I do have more masks that are drying right now in the bathroom because I washed them. But yeah, this is what it looks like. It's not very organized. But this is just going to have to do, as I told you guys, I'm so limited on space. I do plan on taking all of these sprays and maybe getting some shelves for them. I showed my husband the problem and he said that he could put some shelves over top of my vanity for me. And then we can just put all the sprays up there to get them up and out of the way. But I am still going to keep this little rack since it is filled. Okay guys, so we're gonna start in my kitchen. I just wanted to show you guys something. I'm not proud to show this, but this is reality. Like, I want everyone out there to know that if you struggle with depression or anxiety or whatever, like, you're not alone. I struggle with it myself and everyone's just like how you always look so motivated and you get so much done and like, no, like, you guys see what I want to show you guys. I mean, I struggle with depression and anxiety also. But look at my trash. This is how much I avoid going outside in this freezing cold, wet stuff. So this is what my trash is looking like. We've got some laundry detergent on top of one, two, three, four, five, five pizza boxes. Hold on, that's a sausage box. Okay, so anyways, my trash can's full. I've got a little bag back here filled with, I don't know what it's filled with. There's an empty milk jug and then all of these pizza boxes. We've literally had pizza every single day this week for dinner. I'm like, you know what? Give me the phone. We're ordering pizza. And since we've ordered pizza for so many nights in a row, after we order the pizza, they'll like email me. I get 20% off of my next order or, you know, whatever. So that's what we've been doing. I've been like taking full advantage. You'd think after these five to six days of like doing nothing that I'd have so much energy and motivation to get stuff done because I'm well rested. But no, I don't feel like, oh, I get to clean. I'm going to get everything cleaned. I feel like uh, I have to get this done. Like I have to. I've taken five days off, so I literally have no excuse. But yeah, let's get to cleaning. I'm done venting. I'm sure you guys are tired of hearing me. So let's just get busy. Guys, so I'm going to go ahead and light up this candle. It is called Oh Sweet Love and it is from Cozy Me Candles. This was her Valentine's Day collection. This candle smells so amazing. Very fresh and light and airy with a sweet little hint to it. So I've already burned through my Love Letters candle that was also from her Valentine's Day collection. So now I'm just going to replace it with this new one. Guys, listen to the crackling of this candle. It's just so relaxing. So usually when I'm cleaning, I'll just turn on music for background noise. But whenever I light one of my Cozy Me candles with the wooden wicks, I have it silent in my house so that way I can hear the crackling of the flame. And I've got this little area set up over here. 
I've got this little tray that I got from Walmart. And I actually got this to set out on my deck in the summertime to put like drinks or a outside candle on or something like that. But for now, I've got it setting in here in my kitchen. And I've got this little happy home sign setting on it. I also got this from Walmart. This little sign was about $3 and some change. And this tray was $14. I also picked up a little plant to put on here to bring some greenery. And setting behind here, hidden, I've got my little oil diffuser. And then, of course, I've got my little oils set in here, sweet orange and lavender. Right now, I have the lavender scent in there. And then I wanted to show you guys these two sprays that I picked up. I've never tried these before. This is the Better Homes and Gardens Essential Oil Infused Aromatherapy Spray. And this is Rosemary and Spearmint. This is such a light, clean, fresh smell it's so light and clean smelling i love the little bottles that they come in in the sprayer it lets out the perfect mist and it not only smells so good but the smell lingers around i love to spray it on my couches and my curtains and my bedding i definitely recommend picking this up i didn't see any other scents that they had only because they were kind of low in stock so I just grabbed two bottles of the Rosemary and Spearmint. One bottle is actually for the back side of my mobile home. And then this bottle is for my living room and kitchen. But yeah, I just wanted to show you guys this little setup since it is new. And now that I got the house smelling good, I'm going to go ahead and start washing up my dishes. You guys know I like to use a splash of bleach and blue Dawn dish soap. As you can see, my sink is mainly filled up with a bunch of cups, and there's a reason for that. I actually went through some little phase. I threw every single dish that I owned away, only because I felt like I was washing the dishes three to four times a day. I don't have a dishwasher, and I feel like it was my fault because the more dishes that I have, the more that's going to get dirtied up and I cannot stand to see dirty dishes in my sink. So I got rid of a lot of cups and a lot of plates. I actually dropped them off at the Salvation Army and just donated them. And then I went and bought a whole bunch of paper plates and paper cups. And I feel like now I don't have to dedicate one to two hours a day washing up dishes. Because I don't know who else can relate, but who really wants to spend so much time washing up dishes when you can literally just eat out of them and recycle them. So yeah, I'm just trying to take away from my list of things that I have to do around my house. We'll see how long that lasts. Who knows? I may just go buy all new dishes again. But for now, we're going to clean off my bar. I'm going to put up all of the cups and all of my silverware. And then I'll go in with my Lysol spray once I've got the countertops cleared off. And then I'll just wipe down and disinfect my countertops. Also, something else that I've been doing, once I'm done with my dish strainer, I cleared out a cabinet and... I put my dish strainer up in the cabinet and out of the way so that way it's not just setting on my countertop empty. I want the countertop to look really clean and spacious so eliminating that during the day whenever I'm not using it really does help my mindset out because I cannot stand clutter. And also I'm noticing since I went from brown cabinets to white cabinets I'm having to wipe them down a little bit more than what I was used to only because you can see little fingerprints and stuff that my husband and daughter leaves around now I'm just taking a dish mat that is black and white checkered and I'm putting it under this little setup that I have so that it sticks out a little bit more and then I just put my crock pot up I did make some cheese dip last night these are the beautiful flowers I got for Valentine's Day from my husband. I've just got them sitting over here in front of my window so that they can get plenty of light. 
and I'm just gonna do the same spray everything down with Lysol over here and give everything a good wipe down And then once everything is picked up and cleaned off, I want to show you guys an overall look of my countertops, my bar, some of the decor that I have setting around. Just a quick little glimpse of everything that I just cleaned off. And now that I've got my kitchen straightened up, I went ahead and start preparing for dinner because you can't cook in a dirty kitchen. I went ahead and cut up some red skin potatoes and I put them in a little bit of oil, also salt, pepper, garlic powder, a little bit of Italian seasoning. And I've got them all diced up, washed off. I'm going to put these in an oven at 420 for about 45 minutes and to go along with the potatoes got a pork tenderloin that has been thawing out since last night it is already seasoned this is the Smithfield roasted garlic and herb pork tenderloin I've got my oven preheated I'm just gonna go ahead and put it in the oven and it's really simple just let it cook for 45 minutes until the potatoes are really tender you'll know when they're ready because your fork will go through them and then I like to brush a little bit of butter on the potatoes and also brush the pork tenderloin with barbecue sauce and of course I did put on a side of green beans to go with so yeah that's what we're having for dinner tonight I just wanted to show you guys because a lot of people asked me to share some dinner ideas so I thought why not incorporate that in today's video since the video is going to be all over the place anyways so at this point, the potatoes and the pork tenderloin is done, but I did take it out of the oven so that I could put some barbecue sauce on it. And I'm just gonna take my little brush and fully coat it with barbecue sauce. And you can see Harmony talking to me, asking is the food done because she's super hungry. And once I get it coated on both sides, I'll actually put it back in the oven and then I'll let it cook for maybe 10 to 15 minutes more. But keep checking on it because you don't want it to burn. And that is a new dinner idea for those who have not already thought to make this. I know that we have this at least once or twice a month. And it's super good. It's a very easy meal because you don't have to keep checking on your potatoes or the pork tenderloin. You just put it in the oven and let it cook for 45 minutes and you don't really have much to clean up so this is what it ended up looking like of course i've got my husband's dinner in this little to-go plate only because it keeps it warm and as you guys can see he's playing the game in the middle of a match so whenever he's ready to eat his food will be good and warm so after dinner the delivery truck showed up and it took him a while to gather up all of my packages i think i had like six or seven i've been going crazy shopping online so that's going to be a whole nother video so for now we're going to end this video and i'll see you guys in the next one bye